also, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say this a couple times, but uh, essentially, we um we had a, we had a whole announcement thing planned. We we're gonna do like a really really cool announcement video, this and that. Everything was gonna be really really cool. Um, and the announcement was scheduled for the 22nd, so in 10 days from now, and we're gonna fly. We were going to fly out in uh in six days and in seven days on the 19th, to, like record it. Uh, but EWC was like, yo, listen, I know we said on the 13th all orgs need to have their teams. Well, essentially, all orgs need to be announced. All the teams need to be announced by the 13th. So our org was like, oh shit, what the fuck? We, now we need to do something new. So they had to improvise and they, they basically made like a, like a, like a last, last minute announcement thing. So the announcement video isn't as cool as, like, as, as we were like anticipating that, as we were planning and shit like that. Um, which really, really sucks. Um, but we're gonna do, like, really fucking cool content and shit like that instead when it happens. But essentially... No, I can't open Discord, so I can't see the list. I can't open it, because I, I obviously I'm streaming Discord, right? Ooh. Um... <laughs> where are we starting, Don? Pick it All up. right, we'll start, we'll start, we'll start. Which one do we start with? All right, should we start with the Kansas City Pioneers? <laughs> um, guys, guys, guys you want to see a little I don't, magic trick? I, I don't know if KCP was the first one, though. KCP reached out at the same time no, as Blackhand. No, well, I mean, technically, it is the first one because they let you go, right? And then we can talk about how, like, um, how everything, how everything, you know, folded. All right, uh, Where sure. Get... All right. Magic I, trick, though. After Chaps last year, Dell said he wanted to leave. Uh, I didn't want to play with Zane, uh, but KSP said they're backing me, so peace and love, all of this stuff, right? Uh, I was like telling KSP, yo, I'm getting this new team, this and that, you guys want to sign us? They're like, yeah, yeah, if we stay in Apex, we, we, will, we will stay with you. I'm like, all right, cool. Uh, contract runs out on the 31st of whatever month, like September or some shit, and essentially they just left me in the dark. Boom, 31st came. Yeah, bro, peace and love, good luck, man. So I, I was kind of fucked, right? And then a few months later, they're like, yo, I see you got the team. I'm like, yeah, the team I told you about. They're like, yo, you want to you wanna join us? I'm like, I mean, sure, bro. We, we, need, we need this amount, this amount of money. They're like, oh. Uh, so that was KCP. Um, uh, they reached out again later, like a month ago or something. But then fucking, well, first org. It was like a, a new org. Um, they reached out. GMT. They were, no, 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 Let's no. Oh, GMT. Oh, GMT. Huh? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. talking along with Augie, cool, the owner of GMT, and we we're really hyped for it. Augie was like, yeah, dude, that sounds cool, uh, this and that. And, and he, he ends up being really delayed in his, in his responses and stuff like that. And it turned out he just had a kid, and like he wasn't really that passionate about GMT and stuff. So it wasn't GMT. Um, unfortunate. That was a really cool org, though. And then um, what else? Then we had the Nord, we'll Nord org that were really cool. They were like the, our first like real org that we spoke with. Um, yeah, Nord. They were they 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 didn't have the uh, funding to like back us and stuff like that, but they're cool. I like them. Um, this uh, word gets juicy though. Hold oh, on. Oh wait, this one too. Slow this down. One too. I can't yeah, read oh. chat. I can't read it. I can't read this. Yeah, one. I know. I'll bring it up. All right. This oh, one this Legends one Gaming. Up. And this one yeah, don't. Legends and this one. Oh, Legends Gaming. Legends Gaming and Blackhand. Legends Gaming. Legends uh, Gaming, Legends Gaming reached out. Uh, we talked with the owner. The owner was a cool guy. Um, but essentially, we were asking a little bit too much out of their range. Because it's just an owner. that It's like a passion project for him. Uh, but the owner was cool. Um, we met him at LAN and stuff like that. It was really cool. I liked him. Um, but we didn't join Legends Gaming. Blackhand. Uh, this is where it gets really bulky. Oh <laughs> my god. Blackhand. Dude, Wait, we tell Blackhand. Those Black kids want to pay us in crypto, no? No, 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 no. So Blackhand is an org that's owned by the fans. Uh, it's like a cryptocurrency. Like the org is a cryptocurrency or some shit. Uh, so it's all public. The records and shit of like that. Essentially, they had no money. We found out or something like that. Someone told a uh, previous member of Blackhand told us like, "Yo, stay away, bro. No money." Uh, and Blackhand offered us fucking stacks. And we're like, we're like talking to Black and I'm like, yo, we want this and that. They're like, okay, done. Like, oh, what? Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, then, um, 
And then we're like, we figure out all this shit, and we're like, okay, fair, we'll we'll we'll, we'll keep an eye out. No, we'll watch out. They're like, no, we'll we'll pay you in 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 bank transfer. Don't worry. And then they went fucking ghost, dude. They were saying, yeah, oh, I love that you guys are UK. We're gonna do content. We're gonna fly out. We're gonna do merch. We're gonna everything. And then gone. GG's. Um. So that was black hand. Um, Alrighty. We didn't really get that far with them, but but we were like hyped to get it. fucking stacks, you know. Um, we were. The the whole thing with this was, that was funny though is because we had maybe I'd say about twenty orgs. We got blue balled about what twenty times I'd say. Every time we talked about the orgs, it was the whole corner. Every, every time. time we got fucked. Every time, hopeful this is that, and then they'd sign a different team or they'd run away. Yeah. But now this is like the big orgs. Our first big org. That messaged us. That was Navi, I think, right? No, it wasn't. It was SSG, no? Oh, SSG, yeah. SSG. SSG, SSG reached out. Um, um, yeah. We thought we were like optimistic, right? Pog. Uh, but it turned out it was just like an introductionary meeting. Like he wanted to see uh, see us, shit like that, right? Like, he, uh, who is his team, right? We spoke with him, Battalion. I don't know his new name. His previous name, Battalion. He used to be Tucci. Apex. Tucci, yeah. Tucci, Tucci. It was cool. Uh, we spoke with him, talked about who we were. He talked about who SSG was, shit like that. Um, and essentially, we were asking for a little bit too much, and SSG didn't didn't want that. So SSG actually found a fucking solid roster in America, uh, within their budget and shit like that. Like that, they they actually had, they actually fucking cracked the code with who they yeah. signed. Um, so I can't blame them for that. Um, um, can we talk about this, the snipe thing? Yeah. But that didn't, that it, didn't okay. even go in yeah. So we were, we were really about... hype at one point because during one scrim, like mid scrim, Snipe down met Red messaged me and he's like, Yo, listen, if I don't find a team, I'll I'll hard vouch you guys and, and for face clan and shit like that. And we we're like, What? You know, cause Snipe Down was not on a team or anything like that at that point. Like it looked like Snipe Down was gonna retire or some shit. Uh but then essentially he uh he ended up joining Pandas and Sarah. Um, so we lost out in the phase thing, right? Oh, well, we didn't lose out because it never really happened, but we were like, we were like just optimistic as fuck. Yeah. But phase and SSG were like the phase didn't go anywhere. We didn't talk. The snipe want this public. I mean, all. I mean, all snipe said was, "Hey, bro, <laughs> like I, I, I fuck with you guys. You guys are the best option. I'll let my or org know." So I, yeah, it's that's not, what he nothing said. like he didn't, say anything crazy. he didn't say anything crazy. He literally just said, "Yo, I'm gonna try to help you guys out if I can." That's all he really said. Like respect to snipe, you know. Um, but we were like, yeah, dude, I'm fucked, dude, ah, no way. Uh, and we were super ecsta ecstatic, but nothing happened. Um, until, no. <laughs> so, SSG, um, what, picked Phony, Frexes, and Zainu, which is, fair enough, good roster in NA, uh, under their, uh, their budget as well, and also re-signed Frexes. That was yeah. signed to SSG again. And then now we go to Na <laughs> Navi. Right. Navi, this is where it gets interesting, chat. Time for Navi. You guys are gonna want. Wow. You guys are gonna like this I one. Think, I think you say it from the start to the end, and you all right. let let it all out. We'll, we'll <laughs> I'll, 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 I won't do like direct numbers, but I'll do like um, we'll do like percentages, right? Relative what we wanted, relative what they got, shit like that, right? Um, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go numbers. Announcement is in uh, thirty-two minutes. So, so, Navi happened. This was the start of the EWC rumors. This was when uh, the biggest orgs they got info on the EWC. They were finding out that Apex might be in EWC. EWC is happening. This and that. Stipends, question marks. Right? Navi was one of the big orgs. They, they had the meetings with the, in Saudi, with the Saudis uh, back in like fucking December and shit. Like they knew shit. So they reached out real early to try to get someone. Uh, we spoke with Navi. Progress was going really nice. Uh, I think Navi fucked with us. We fucked with Navi. Um, we 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 were negotiating, and we actually found a middle ground that we all could agree on. Uh, and we were we were we were essentially going to sign. Like we were essentially gonna accept the offer. Like we did accept the offer. We accepted the offer. Everything was good. Until Matafe, <laughs> the little rat. But Tafi DM'd me um, before that because he knew uh, that um, Navi was coming in and shit like that. Na Navi has, uh, has good connections. So he was like DMing with me and he, uh, he was like, yo, stay in high numbers. I know you guys are asking for, he, I think he said like ridiculous amounts or something like that. I, I think, think Matafi thought that we were too overpriced. 
which, which is fine, whatever, right? It's subjective. So he was like, stay on your high numbers. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to anyway. And he's like, okay, fine. I'll, tr I'll try to stay on high numbers too. I'm like, okay, fine. I know we were more expensive than, than they were. And I, and I didn't think anything of it. I'm like, I'm going to stay on high number no matter what. If someone wants a better team, they will pick us, right? Uh, if someone wants a worse team, they will pick the cheaper team, right? Fair. Um, but essentially, Matafi did not go on high numbers. Matafi just stayed even lower than what I had heard around the grapevine. Uh, and, uh, and, and then after Navi, after we said yes to Navi, uh, Mat Navi then was like, no, never mind, we found a different option. Uh, and they, they went with Matafi, and Matafi's team was getting fucking, what was it? We, we, the offer we got from Navi was 50% more than Navi's roster, <laughs> Navi's offer was. Yeah, some shit like that. They didn't no, snake like... us or anything like that. We know our value. We weren't going to lowball. It was fine. What they did was completely fine. It wasn't snaking. Nothing, nothing foul play. No, no foul play at all. Um, but I just think it's kind of ridiculous that they accepted such a low offer. Um, and, and, and we were like, okay, dude, whatever. Um, but this is where, like... A funny part. No, a funny part, though. So, as we... So, as Navi starts ghosting us and ghosting our team, and we're kind of getting the feeling that they're going for Matafe, right? Um, Na <laughs> Nasky makes a... What? Uh, a photo of his land placements <laughs> and Matafe's land placements and sends it in the group chat with the Navi guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We're like, we're like. I think, I think the convers, the conversation was something like, "Yo, listen, I know we're more expensive, but we are better." Here, here's the lab place. And then he put, he made an actual image of his lab placements and Matave's lab placements, and the guy just never replied. <laughs> that was dude. the last thing that was said in the group chat. Uh, that was yeah. funny, dude. Uh, but the worst <laughs> thing about the Navi thing is that all Navi's connections within Apex, at least as far as I know, something like Max Strafe, for instance, right? Uh, they were all, like, Navi was talking with, with, with Strafe, I, I, I believe, directly. I'm not sure. Um, but every, like, Max was just hard vouching for us. Other people apparently were vouching for us. Everyone was telling Navi, like, we are the better op option, shit like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if Navi wanted to save some money, that's fine, right? It's whatever. It, it's... It's not deeper than that. We didn't really think of it. I just thought it was funny reading all the Twitter comments of like, Matafe stole your org. I'm like, did he though? Really? Like, we, we, we want an org that's sick. We want to represent and shit like that, right? Navi, Navi checks those boxes. Navi's a cool ass fucking org. Um, but at the end of the day, we want an org that believes in us, right? Yeah, we have, a, we have our price. If, if an org doesn't want to pay that price, they essentially just don't believe in us, right? And that's fine. But then we don't want to represent someone that doesn't in us so did he did he really steal or or i i don't know i, I think if navi if navi really just wanted the, the cheap offer the option like it, it's not it's not really an org that we wanted to represent even though like navi is such a cool historic org and shit like that right um so it was fine uh, there was no bad blood i i respected navi for the, the decision uh i think we all did we we, we bore we bear, yeah we bore a little bit of resentment but we were over it pretty quickly too because the yeah. next org that reached out shortly after it was VP. Wait, wait, wait. What's, what did you say? VP. All right. Uh, next org, VP. We spoke with VP. VP. Um, I, I don't want to go too much in depth. Uh, VP was very bookie. I don't want to go VP... too much in details because I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to talk down on VP because no, VP I... is historically such a cool org too. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, they are cool. But very, very bookie. We heard some shit behind the scenes. Uh, so we weren't too excited about it, but but essentially VP gave us an offer and the offer was a little bit out of what we wanted um, I believe monetarily it was more than the Navi Can offer, we... right? But Don was getting shafted in the after, offer and there was good incentives. It was, it was cool and stuff like that But we just we weren't satisfied Let me see. Can we say that? Uh, yeah, we... that, that, that I don't I don't think it's where I don't because I, 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 I don't want to because then we we're essentially talking about like Darky and stuff, no? like not not really directly, but you know what I mean. I mean, I don't want to put down an org. Nah, that's a, no. We're not putting. We're not gonna be putting them down by that. We're just saying, oh my god, that was just like what? The okay, sure. <laughs> when we Go first on, opened it, we were like, what the fuck, you know? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they had a hundred and twenty page contract. <laughs> 
120 pages of God knows I, what. And, and I, 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 I ain't reading all of that, man. <laughs> and we just didn't want to read it. I can't lie to you. I mean, if the bag was good, it. if the bag was good, I wouldn't mind reading it. <laughs> it was 120 fucking pages. Um... Um, but yeah, so VP, VP was also a cool org, right? Like, historically cool org, sick logo, nice history, everything was good. Um, so we got an agent, and then um, uh, we had a lot of offers come in, because the agency was actually really, really efficient, a really good agency. Um, and, uh, and, we had uh, a few orgs come in, but with, like, there were like, um, you know, new orgs, you know, a few small orgs that are like, Few thousand followers on Twitter. Yeah. Twenty thousand, thirty thousand. Oh, we should they, talk they about got the... us, They got us a few offers. Which one? The Indian or G two first? We talk. Which one? Which one was we first? Talk, we talk about Star Wars. All right. <laughs> Star <laughs> Wars. <laughs> uh, we spoke with that org. I'm talking him. We spoke with that <laughs> org for like two months. I want to say. Um. Apparently, these guys were just weird, bro. They had, like, eight <laughs> CEOs, and, like, it was scuffed, dude. But they had money! They had money! They were offering 10K! They were offering bags! <laughs> they were... But every time they had to talk with the eight CEOs, and it took, like, 10, 10 weeks for them to come back with info and shit. Uh, um, so, uh, long story short, we didn't sign with them. They, they, they were, like... At, the day before roster lock for Lander, like, yo, we want you guys. And we're like, oh shit, okay, wait, how much money? Oh my god, yeah, let's sign, right? And then, <laughs> and then nothing. They didn't say a ghost. Um, uh, so they yeah, I don't disappear. know. But, and then they'll randomly text us, like, randomly DM me. Randomly and it was a new back. CEO every time, because so, <laughs> they didn't CEO. communicate with each other. <laughs> some new, some new Arab guy posing on the photo like this. Every day, it's like <laughs> just a new guy on Discord doing this as his profile picture, like a uh, new guy every single time. Um, and then we spoke with G two. It was actually uh, Matafi that vouched for us. Um, some Matafi knew some guy from G two, and the, and he was like, "Yo, reach out to O seven. And that guy reached out to us. We spoke with him, and G two was bookie man. G two was bookie bro. They were, it, I, if I don't really 100% remember shit, but it, it was, I, if I recall correctly, well, it was something like, if we didn't get to EWC, they would drop us, and like... Well, it, what was weird, Bixel is always in Nasty's chat, yeah, or in Nasty's chat here and there, and he's always said, G2 is never coming back into Apex, if G2 comes back into Apex... He would know, um, Bixel would know, he was the GM, He would, know, he believe, would right? know, and he would sign, yeah, yeah, he would sign Nasty or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden, like they they wanted a team, but they only wanted a team for just EWC or some shit. It was it was weird. They weren't looking for something long. Bo Buki means uh, sketchy. Buki is sketchy, yeah. not shit. It's not shit. It's just uh, dodgy, like sketchy. Um, so G two th that just fell through pretty quickly. They didn't have the highest of budgets. Um. And they just only wanted a team for EWC. They only wanted a team for EWC. It was, it was yeah, scuffed. They I don't didn't think... want a long-term thing. Yeah. Um, and Don was sad about that because G2 is like Don, one of Don's I favorite I love G2. I, I was... G2, can't lie, my shit was rock. <laughs> I got the G2 banner and everything. Yeah. But it's all good, you know? They're bookie, they're sketchy, all good. Um... What else? What other than G2? Do we go next? What, what was next? To... Falcons. Uh, there was nah. talks about Falcons. Well, Fal okay, well, Falcons was always going to sign... Falcons' number one that... priority was the, the team they have now. They have now. Always. Number one priority. That was that they wanted to do that. But there was contractual shit that like made it, made it so it's like maybe it's not possible. So they started looking for other options. And they they looked for a few options. They they spoke to a few teams. Yeah. But yeah, Falcons so would have been crazy. Our, a, our agents were on top of it, and um and at some point Falcons was like actually interested. Um. Yeah, for a bit. But, yeah, for a bit because it seemed like a hundred percent they won't get that the roster they have now. So we were like stoked about that. But it all it was never anything like solidified. It was always like risk like kind of scuffed. Um, like. 
Uh, Team Liquid. Team Liquid. Uh, oh. oh my god, Team man. Liquid. The closest the way, okay, we the were to sign with an org chat. The, the closest we, we were. Got blue bold. Fuck, man. We were depressed as fuck, man. We were so depressed. <laughs> we were speaking with Team Liquid, and let me tell you, bro, we Team were Liquid. So depressed. Professional, respectful, just optimistic. Team Liquid was, apart from the org that we signed with now, Team Liquid was 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 the number one best org we spoke with, right? Yeah, hundred percent. And and they were like, hey, let me be transparent. Uh, we want to enter an apex, but if the things don't align, we won't. And I'm being transparent with you. I won't know if it's next week or if it's in two months whether or not we will sign a team. But don't expect the highest of budgets uh, and stuff like that. And then they ended up coming back around. They're like, listen, we got a sponsorship. And Team uh, Alienware, like, we, we, we'll probably be able to, like, do good shit. And we were like, dude, fuck, let's go, man. Let's go, dude. That's sick. We were so hyped. Team Liquid was so cool, right? But at the same time, and I don't know if Pastillo wants us to say this. Okay, let me say it this way. Then I don't. I won't say the word because I know Pistillo usually doesn't want people to know. Like, essentially, uh, Pistillo, like the team that Team Liquid signed, they were going to sign with a org. They had the contracts and everything, and last second they pulled out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the current Team Liquid roster, they were they were free agents again, and then Team Liquid was no, like, what? "Oh shit, this team is Surely better." We can say that, no. I I don't want to say. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. I'd rather because Pistillo Wait, usually is still, private. Still, no, don't just don't say it. Don't say it. Doesn't matter. Okay. But then essentially, um, uh, essentially, Team Liquid was like, okay, look, we'll, we're sorry, sorry guys, we'll we'll take that roster, and it's like we can't really blame Team Liquid for that, right? At that point, yeah. that team was looking way stronger than us. At the point, that team was more proven than us. At the point, that that team was more famous than us, right? At yeah. and they were in NA, um, so it's like that fell through. We were so sad about it. We were so hyped. Team Liquid is like one of the stories of all time right um that was depressing and like we were we were gonna get a good <clears throat> offer and like everything bro like that, we, we, that that one that one stung but you couldn't blame and them it then, was reasonable. and then we go to land and we go to land happened we you know do all became content creators at land we come back home and everyone is on dick. Everyone <laughs> wanted DMs. us. <laughs> I'm seeing DMs left, right, center. Everyone, everyone wanted everyone us. Everyone was on dick. There was orgs, <laughs> orgs, orgs everywhere. It was crazy. <laughs> I don't know how much the land had to play on it or, or how much Zane had to play on it. Um, but it might be a mix or something like that. But it was looking up, dude. Uh, so we got reached out by NRG. Um, well, what was the other one? The NRG, the org we signed with, and and what else? We are. Uh, pa Pioneers DZ. reached out again. They were like, "Yo, you." Pioneers, DZ. DZ, DZ reached out. Uh, uh, who else is there? There's a lot more. Uh, but they were they were looking up. They were talking with with sponsors. We were gonna get shit sorted out. Like they, they that was cool. That was actually Nags that had that connection. Um, that was a cool. That was that was cool. It was looking up. Um, essentially they just weren't able to match the offers that we got from Energy and the org we signed with. Um, but it turned into like, it turned into like Energy offer versus the one we accepted. And the energy offer, let me tell you, chat. The energy offer was very solid. It was, it was, it was, it was the one of the best offers we got from a really fucking cool org. Um, we did not have a bidding war. I, I we didn't have a bidding war, but we had like, cause, cause the, 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 there was some stuff in the contract that weighed better, and in, in, in both good contracts had their pros and cons, right? Um, I, I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to talk about my current contract, obviously, for obvious, obvious, obvious reasons. Uh, but Energy had some stuff that were, were really fucking good. And Energy also had some stuff that were a little less good. Um, and we just felt, we just felt we, like, um, We wanted the other choice. org more. The other yeah. org was cooler because the fucking... Like we wanted that more. The other org, they reached out to us. We spoke with them. And, and we, we felt respected. 
we felt they like, like they care. They gave a fuck who they signed. They 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 background checked us. They did research on us. They fucking studied us. They were like looking at Reddit. Like they were like. Then they asked me personalized question in a private call. They asked Zane personalized question. Don personal. Amphi personalized questions. We met with the fucking the 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 the, the GM. We met with the fucking the uh the um performance. I'm gonna say performance guy because I feel like I'll give it away too much if I say like the roles and shit. Uh, mm. we talked with performance guy. We talked with. With GM, we talked with we talked with everyone, right? Like, they they were setting us up in meetings. We had Zoom calls. We had Zoom calls together. We had Zoom calls individually. They were fuck like they were. They knew what was up, man. They knew how to run a company, dude. These are the f that email you and not reach out on Twitter DMs like some amateur, f you know? Like this org knew what the f was up, man. On top yeah. of that, this org had the way cooler history than any other. Oregon Apex Immo. Um, I think uh, I think uh, depending on where you're from, you will have different uh, opinions about that. Um, this org uh, cooler cool is a logo. Should in, I talk in Apex. about DZ? Uh, talk about DZ. We can talk about DZ, yeah. So, as we're as we've told NRG, we're 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 not interested and we're going with our other option, and we're you know contracts are getting written up and we're about to sign to this organization. Um, my friends at DZ have uh, vouched to Dark Zero themselves to sign this team. So I get a message from the DZ guy saying, oh, he might, you know, might, might get an Apex team, this and that. And then I go back to the boys and we're just in a tough situation. We're like, you know, what do we do? You know, what do we do? This is that. And then in the end, DZ ended up saying, we don't want to come back in Apex. So it was good. It was it was good to actually happen. So DZ blue balled us for a quick day, but nothing ended up happening. Uh, we did the right decision. Um, I'm really excited about being so patient about it because fucking good shit always come to the one who waits. Um, and uh, and 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 think I think with me saying this org is like the coolest history. There's gonna be a lot of split opinions about it, right? Because on the one end you have losers in America who says uh. Optic, um, Face Clan, uh, Call of Duty, dude, right? And then, and then, and then, and then, in in Europe, you have fucking Giga Chats are like, yeah, Counter Strike all the all the way, and then and, and then further in the East, you have other cool people saying fucking League of Legends all the way, right? And all I'm saying is, the majority of the world thinks the history of this org is cooler than the fuckers in America, right? Because this org. They got everything, bro. They got they got things from the East, Far East. They got things in Europe. They got things in South America. They got shit everywhere, bro. They got shit everywhere. On top of that, this org is old ass. Not Don, because he's young as fuck. This old org is old, bro. The org has the coolest logo. This org is sick, dude. And the team tag is cold. You know what other org that has a League of Legend roster? China oh. in LPL, oh. huh? You know, f oh. that does that. I, I love pajamas. <laughs> I love pajamas, baby. <laughs> and O Seven became a fucking ninja. <laughs> o Seven became a ninja. Come on, ninja in pajama. Come on. <laughs> yeah, the videos out. Videos out. Videos out. Videos out. Go watch the video. Yo, Eric, do you still want the best team in Apex? Yo, Don said you guys are picking us up and we're pretty fucking hype. Yo, <laughs> this is me, Chad. Oh, Jesus, it's loud, it's loud, it's loud, it's loud. Look at that, man! Ninjas, dude! We're ninjas! And chat for anyone down in the f history, bro. 
87 and 0 was their track record in Counter Strike back in the days, dude. This org has history, man. It's not no, it's not no. Call of Duty, Halo, like off, man. This is Counter Strike, real man. Like this, this org, man. It's built on a real game, man. You know, like glory days, man. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. Uh, 07 representing and ninjas, dude.